is Carl's Mustang, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the 1999 Eclipse GSX on the Crew 2. This is a car that a lot of people are excited about because, of course, it's an Eclipse. Now, this is what it looks like stock. You have to get in the bundle, which gives you a Drag R34, a Drift RX7, a 370Z Touring Car, and a Honda Civic Type R. And, of course, those aren't new cars. Those are cars that have been in the game since, basically, almost the beginning. Except for the Honda Civic. The Honda Civic, I remember, was added. But, I already have the car. And, boy, is this car a tree. You can already tell this car sounds cool. And, as I said, the bundle's about 6K in the in -game, with in-game money, of course. I forgot how many, uh, I forgot how many, uh, what did they call them? I forgot how many crew, uh, tokens, or whatever they call them on. I forgot how much that was. But, I have this thing fully upgraded to 280 and everything, and I'll see you at the race. The race course I'm gonna be using. The reason I'm using this one is it's gonna be one of the, it's, it has a lot of corners and all, but it still has a good bit of straightaway. And, as usual, I'm going to go quiet, because I want y'all to hear the full thing of the car, basically. And, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go to the track, go ahead and go inside the track. I love the sound of this car. I still can't, I still just love it. I love hearing that. Okay, and time for me to go quiet.
if maybe you had a better tune and some perks on it. Like me, all I have is the, the all-wheel drive differential is tuned 50-50. So the front rear are getting equal power and then the anti-sway bars are cut up, are a little bit stiffer than what they usually are, so less body roll. And, but if you have a better tune than that, it can make some very, it can make way faster time. And of course, if you have all the perks, also. But, do I recommend getting this car? Yeah, basically, because not only do you need it for the summit, of course, and to get that art Satan that's supposed to be on the summit, that's supposed to be the main car of the summit, but also it's just a good car, and just a good car anyway. Like, for instance, if you watch this video, where, like, maybe maybe about a month or maybe even a year from now when this car is released it's still a good car worth getting I mean I I enjoy it I mean I love the sound of it I love that sound I just love that turbo district and the backfire oh by the way I'm gonna do something real quick I did not make this livery but I'm going to give credit to the guy that did make the livery because he did a pretty good job at making this livery. Let's see. Go to liveries. Top 100. This guy right here is the one that made the livery I'm using right now. Right now I'm using this one, which is a second one he made that's a little bit more perfect. That's a little bit better. The only thing I can really say is that the green's a little too bright. I'll to if, I if it was me, I'd tone it down a little bit, but otherwise, it looks great. He got spot on with the way the car looks. All you have to worry about is the, the rims, the wing, and of course, the kit. You, you can't get exactly to the kit, but the body kit. But that's all I really have for today. And see you guys later in the next video.